friends, we hope you enjoyed reading the book, The Easter Story. If you didn't read it, you can click the link above or the link down below and I will read it to you. We have a fun and easy little folding craft for you. All you need today is a paper towel and scissors, some, watercolor. we're using watercolors, but actually food coloring or leftover Easter egg dye would work best for this little craft. We don't have any food coloring because I left it up at the school for my preschool class and now we can't go back to school, so bummer. So we're gonna try our best with this watercolors. We'll see how they work. Don't forget, you must ask a parent before you can do any of our crafts. So today, we are going to make a cross out of paper towel and I'm going to show you how to fold it and I'm gonna help Gentry fold it. Okay, first you're going to want to have your paper towel, it'll be like the size of roll like this, so not a square rectangle. And you're going to lay it long ways towards you. And on the bottom, you're gonna go from the right corner and move it all the way up to here. So can you fold that way? No, this corner goes all the way up to here. Just like a, we're gonna try, we're gonna make a triangle. But you wanna make sure that before you crease it, that it's even all the way down and we've made a flap, one flap, but if you pick it back up, it looks like a big triangle, doesn't it? Now, you're gonna go on the bottom left corner where you've left it behind and match it up to the other side of the crease. Good job, Gentry. Now crease it down. And now it kind of looks like an arrow pointing at you. And, and if you flip it over, it looks like a house. It does, you're right. And then we are going to take the arrow part and flap it right up on itself. Good job, Gentry. Now, now it's like an arrow pointing now, at us or you guys. What does that look like to you, Gentry? An envelope. It does, it looks like an envelope. So here's our final. And this is the most important. You've got it, see, we've got it all flapped in there. We're gonna fold it outwards. You do that. Like this, so that the envelope part is out. And then Gentry, I want you to cut right like that. I'm gonna give you scissors. And you're gonna cut right on the outside, all the way up as straight as you can. Parents, you might need to do this part. It might be too difficult. All right, now we're gonna keep this folded just like this. And let me mix up some of our colors. We're gonna mix, mix, mix. We're mixing up some of our colors, but if you have, like I said, leftover Easter egg dye would work best, or food, food coloring, color. just regular old food coloring, put them in some ice cube trays, like we've got here. We just don't have any food coloring. And then you're gonna take your folded up like this and you're gonna kind of dip it in different colors and see, because it is paper towel and absorbs, the color spreads throughout the paper towel and you can dip it in the different colors. You can do different, different, just like Gentry's sides. doing, she's doing great. And you can put it on this side to do a little bit of red. Good job, Gentry. I'm gonna do some red. And it doesn't matter if the paint gets on your fingers because you can wash them. You should always wash your hands after a project, right? Yeah, I'm just gonna add a little bit of green to the corner. So just dip it in. Try not to get it too wet because then it'll fall apart. Ooh, did you do yellow? I think I'm gonna do yellow on this side. Now when you're all done. Okay. I think we need a little bit more water on this one. I think you've got it perfect. We're gonna leave them to dry, just like this. Mine, mine almost looks similar to yours. We're gonna leave them here to dry, and we're gonna come back and check on them. All right, Gentry, what do you wanna go do while we're letting it dry? I'm gonna go over there. Okay. All right, we're back. We've let him dry for a little bit. They're still a little damp, but we're gonna go ahead and show you. 
how to unfold it and how you can see the cross. Gendry, unfold it. Um, there, I'm going to um, unfold it very carefully because ours are still kind of wet. Yeah, isn't that beautiful? You hold it up, show everybody? Yep. And do you want to unfold yours? Sure. I'm going to unfold this and then we're going to go and show you. Just in case if we need a fixer, we got tape. Well, no, this is to hang up. Yeah. It may not hang up because it's still pretty wet. Yeah. Gentry, what shape is this? That is kind of a T, but it's a cross. It's a cross. What does that cross represent? <laughs> Jesus. If you read in the story, Jesus died and rose again, and we're celebrating Easter on Sunday, where Jesus rose from the dead, and we celebrate him. Thank you so much for celebrating with us today. Jesus is good news that he rose from the dead. He didn't stay on the cross. The cross is beautiful that we made, but he didn't stay there. He rose from the dead and became our savior. And he loves you just like I love you. Thank you so much for supporting us and loving us. We ask that you like and subscribe and turn on those bell notifications so that you can see the next lesson as it comes out. We'll see though. Bunnies are my ears. Yeah. I mean, on my hair. Not on my ears. <laughs> my favorite thing about my hair today.